Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a really effective video intro and um, I'm going to be using iMovie 9 so uh, let's get started so first you want to start off by going to a new project then you get a choice choose which one you want I think I might have a comic book because that looks cool just wait for that to load so now you want to go to titles you can see you've got them here credits and also let me move this over you have where you can make your intros the effects for example that one four corners or overlap scrolling credits but I have one that I really really like which is sideways effects like that so I'm gonna be using that so you drag that into the project interface turn off automatic transitions choose your background you can download more backgrounds for it pretty easy um, I'll post a link below where to download backgrounds from and I think I'm going to use um, nope. this one. I like the underwater effect. So, nope. oops. Nope. So just type in what you want. For example, I'll type in my YouTube channel. One of these numbers is definitely a six. All the number plates have got six in them. No, they haven't. Shot one production presents then you go to highlight that show fonts you get a cool choice of fonts you can line it choose how big you want it but one I really like is a font called cracked and that's the one that's used in our intro video so I'll just use that and I'd say maybe maybe oops let me just undo that guys sorry about that I was meant to change the size so a fairly decent size would be 72 and then you got to do the same to the next one so again choose crap like that 96 maybe 72 actually for that So now we're just going to preview this. Something like that. You can also change the duration of how long you want this clip title to last. And you can have different effects, loads of different effects. But I like the one we've got, so I'm going to stick with that. Then, for example, you can get another one you would like. So many choices. Lens flare. Lens flare is a really good one. I'd maybe choose for that. I'd probably keep the same title. And then you write in what you want again. Except with this lens flare effect. The only downside is you can't change the font as far as I know of. But um, there's some really cool effects in there. It's all about experimenting because there's so many backgrounds and effects. You choose what you want. There's just so many. It's unbelievable. Um, really, it's down to personal taste. And this is just a tutorial. So they're f all four seconds each, but you can cut them down to two if you want them to go quicker. So, something like that. And then you've got your lens flare click kicking in. But I think I'm going to drag that down to two seconds. I'm going to move that across. Drag that down to two seconds. Get rid of that. Now what I've done, 1.9 should I say, 
Now these two are going to be two seconds each instead of four like that. So I'll go quicker now. It's four seconds. Two seconds. And another two seconds. Oops. And now, choose your music. You can import from iTunes or GarageBand. I've got lots, but again, I'm going to use Starry Eyed by Ellie Golding because I love that song and it's a really good effect. So now we just drag this into the interface panel. As you can see, the track is imported. And the music stops like that, and that's pretty much how to do an intro. You can make it long, short, choose whatever backgrounds, effects you want. Like I said earlier, all down to personal taste. You now have your intro project, intro video, should I say. And um, I'm going to show you how to export it as HD, keeping the best quality you can, ready for a YouTube upload. So, simply all you do... Let's go to share, and you get all these choices. You can have it imported straight to iTunes, iDVD. You can upload straight to YouTube, but you want to keep the quality. So we're going to go to export movie, and as you can see, you've got the size to export: tiny, mobile, medium, large, HD. So we're going to export it as HD. Just make sure you've got that highlighted. Choose where you want to save it to. And uh, the name, I'm just going to call it Tutorial, because that's what it is. Okay, so that has now exported to your desktop, just here. It may take a few seconds to buffer. Play. There you go, and see the quality is best. And as you can see round there, absolutely HD, no fine messy lines, absolutely exact HD. And uh, as it's AVI, it can go straight to YouTube. Thanks for watching my first tutorial. I hope you check out some more of my tutorials. And if you want me to do a tutorial, um, just send us a message to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'll get back to you with a tutorial. Okay, see you guys.